You've got questions. Well, we've got plenty of answers, and we have the man to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Great to be back with you, Bob. Thanks for having me, as always. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you. And we have a question for you that I know is right up your alley. It comes from a reader. It goes like this. If my RMD is being done by equal monthly distributions on the 15th of the month, do I have to wait until after December 15th um, to do a Roth conversion? That's a great question. Somebody I think was really thinking forward. And the answer is yes, you would, uh, at least from the account that you're taking those required minimum distributions from. Uh, Now, what I mean is some people may have more than one account and maybe they take some monthly from account one, but they take the other one annually from account two. But in short, you cannot convert an RMD. There's really two rules that come together to, to end up with our answer of, no, you, you, you can't convert until you've received that full RMD. The first is you cannot convert an RMD. The second is that an RMD is deemed to be the first dollars out of your account each year. So if you put those two together, if the RMD is the first money out and you can't convert until you've taken your RMD, well, then what we end up with is you have to take your full RMD, at least again, for that account, until, uh, or rather before, you can convert any of the remaining balance. Mm. So I guess in this reader's case, he might have to stop the automatic payments in order to do his conversion if, if, if that's what he wants to do. That's right. You really have two choices here. Either one, wait until December 16th, if you will, to start making your conversions for the year, which is possible, but it's a little bit late in the year, especially if you believe the markets will rise and you're confident that doing a conversion will uh, will not push you above certain income thresholds you otherwise want to avoid. Uh, but the other is, yeah, just simply move up your required minimum distribution, take it as an annual sum now in the beginning of the year, and then you have the freedom to take your or to do a conversion any time later this year. Mm. Well, I know I have my, here it is. Ah. <laughs> I have my mallet, <laughs> nailed it again. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And uh, if you've got a question like this, this is a great one. Uh, feel free to email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Bob and I look forward to answering your questions real soon.